Because that's how I feel regarding public speaking. But I'm not going to speak about me today. I want to tell you about my public speaking parents. Now, let's start with mothers. What mothers do? A rhetorical question, just in case. First of all, they teach some basics. Secondly, they celebrate every tiny step of yours. And thirdly, they protect you from the real world. Now, can you guess who is my public speaking mother? Dimitri. Okay, huh? I have no idea. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Antonia Pushkin. All right. And Valeria Kolakova. And everybody in the room. Because Toastmaster is my public speaking mother. <coughs> now, how my public speaking mother teaches me basics? Easy. Uh, I didn't even talk to the teacher. Doesn't matter. <laughs> She's a quiet <laughs> For example, how my mother teaches me basics. She tells me, well, using feel the words is very bad. Bad, Dennis, bad. Or say, if you exceed your time limits, nobody will like you. <laughs> and a monster will steal your weight. And as to how she, how my mother, how my public speaking mother celebrates my tiny successes. Oh, you smile so much during your speech. You delivered a nice icebreaker. <laughs> and as protecting me from the real world, I'll tell you about when I'll tell you about my public speaking father. Father, what do fathers do? They expose you. In the real world. And they celebrate your lips, not tiny steps. <laughs> and can you guess who my public speaking father is? But stand up stand comedy. Up. <laughs> stand up comedy, right. Now let me give you an example of how fathers expose you to the real world as opposed to mothers. So when I was younger, I used to draw pictures of my mother, and they usually look like And I used to run up to her, Mom! Can you see the picture? <laughs> and she was, oh, such a nice picture. She took it to her job. And the lady's desk, oh, such a cute picture. You have such a nice boy. <laughs> and when I was going to my father, Pop, can you look at my picture? He usually told me, God damn it, Dennis. <laughs> You are 25 years old. <laughs> Stop freaking out with your weird pictures. And what happens in public speaking? I think I, I prepare a nice speech. I go to stand up and nobody laughs there. My natural reaction is, ah! my, my Toastmaster mother comes to me, Dennis, Dennis, shh, shh, shh. Dennis, Dennis. And it, it usually happens in the worst. Uh, one of the most distinguished Toastmaster speakers, one of the best speakers in Moscow area, and I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> But when the father praises you, mm. it's worth much more than mother's praise. Because you mm. probably deliver something really nice. Fathers are all about meritocracy. How many of you know, how many of you don't know what the word meritocracy means? Can you please raise your hand? <laughs> I don't know either, but it sounds <laughs> <laughs> Your mothers 
<laughs> cherish you, help you, love you, support you. Your fathers push you, help you to develop. You spend too much time with your mother, you probably grow a little weak. You spend too much, too much time with your father, you may be a little demotivated because the feedback is harsh. The goal is to find the balance. I've been looking for my balance in life, and I wish you to look for and find yours. Dennis, can you show us the chair of the event? <laughs> <laughs> nice, Dennis, Mr. Chair. Yeah. That was speaker number four.